Okay, so first team entity. Uh, let's get the easy ones out of the way. Liquid's very strong. They have Nisha. I think Nisha is the strongest player in the world. He wins lane every game. He outfarms everyone every every game. Always has highest net worth. Barely dies. Very smart map movements. Um. Next, uh, Tundra. Tundra just won TI, and all four, all five of their players are are pretty good. Same as Liquid. All five are really good. Like, uh, Soxa is very good ganking, Nine is very good ganking, Nine is very good at making space. Yeah, Tundra's all five of them are pretty good. Next, let's go on with PSG. I didn't think PSG would be this good before the season, because, uh, Shiro and, yeah, Shiro, I, I wasn't, he didn't really play good, that good before, but he's playing pretty, pretty good now, and they have, a uh, Planet. Planet's really good at Rubik. The roster's really good. They have the best pot position 5 in the world, in my opinion, I think, uh, Innocence. That guy's a beast. I saw, well, saw him one game on Enchantress, he literally solo carried PSG in, in, in a comeback, it was insane. PSG is very good still, surprisingly. I didn't think they would still be this good. Because uh, Ame and Faith Beyond retired, I thought they would be way worse, to be honest. But I, I, I think they're the third best team in the world, to be honest. Baboon's really good. I think Bebu has the highest skill in the world, but obviously their their players are off position, you know? Like, they're not in their main position, obviously, because you can't have... Because Nightfall, I think Nightfall is a better carry, but he's still a really good offlane. He's very good at farming. Tarno Tokyo, he's he's, a, he's an okay position 5 so far. But GPK is a beast mid. GPK, I think, is the second best mid player in the world. He's very good at laning. He wins lane every single game. Save is insane, too. That guy is really good at ganking. That guy has insane map movements, I swear. Save is crazy. That guy had a year off and he's still dominating. So good, so good. Yeah, the, I think these are the four best, obviously. Okay, let's get into the weak ones. So I think Geek Slate. Let me check Geek Slate's roster again. Scam. Yeah, this roster is trash. Like. Scam is like the only good one in my opinion from Geek Slates. Knights is pretty trash too. Let me check Knights. Eagle, Alacrity, Flyby, Felix. Yeah, all of these, they're not that good either. But it's still better than Geek Slate, I guess. Alright. Uh, next, who else is weak? Um, e Home, where's E Home? What? They don't have every team? They don't have every team. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Okay, so we got to this other one. They have everyone. E home is pretty weak too. I remember. Yeah, all these players are pretty trash. Um, but they're even worse than knights, to be honest. Are they, are they better than Geek Slate? Uh, I don't know. Mm, knights is better than Geek Slate. Oh, I mean E home. E home. I think E Home is probably worse than Geek Slate to be honest. Okay. Uh Extrication's pretty trash too. They came first, I'm pretty sure. They went seven and zero in the DPC. But yeah. Uh, it's just C is a garbage region. I, I think Yeah, they're even worse than them to be honest. Oh wait, whoops, wrong one. Uh where is uh Execution. Better than E-Home, I guess. Yeah. Talon's pretty garbage, too. Hellraisers. Hellraisers was good with the Hawk. Like, they would not be in, in D if they had the Hawk still, but the Hawk got kicked for Yoragi. And Yoragi is pretty trash, to be honest. Like, I... That guy feeds so much. And then the Press Kid, he feeds a lot, too. This team is pretty trash. They just play in weak region. But it's better than all of these, I guess. If they had the Hawk, maybe C. Doc's the best player, but they kicked him. I don't know. Okay, Talon's pretty garbage too. It's like 23 Savage, he's, he feeds a lot. Makoto, he's he's okay. Jabs is okay. Ollie's okay. So they're not that bad. They're like, it's whatever, you know. Aster, Aster's really good. They had the same roster as last season, but they lost Ori. And Ori was their best player. But XYW, he's still pretty decent. He plays... Plays like average, 
The rest of the roster is the same, and all the rest are pretty good. The Pabok is very good at ganking. Siamese Kai is very good at team fighting and spell casting. Monet is good at farming and team fighting, spell casting. XSS, he's really good at team fighting. Like his Dark Seer, he does. He's very good at getting like five men <laughs> vacuums. If they still had Ori, he, they would be up here. Ori is very good. Okay, Shopify Rebellion, they're, they're pretty garbage. <laughs> they have Arteezy, Arteezy feeds a lot, he's trash. Abed, Abed got worse. He's not He's not bad, he's still pretty good, but he used to be way better. Saberlight's okay. Crit, he used to be way better, he's got worse. Fly is really good, to be honest. His Phoenix, he, he dominates with Phoenix. His like, team fighting with Phoenix is insane. In his playmaking. Uh, Fly used to be their worst player, but since the rest just got worse, I think Fly is their best player now. Fly is still one of the best positive fives in the world. Na oh, wait, that's Shopify. <laughs> yeah, so Shopify is not the lowest, but yeah, they're still not that good. Okay. Spirit. Spirit's the same as before, but they got worse. Just like Shopify, Shopify's players they got worse. Yataro got worse. Collapse got worse. Mirror got worse. Mipashka got worse. And Laro, Laro feeds a lot in team fights too. To be honest, uh, collapse and Yotaro are still pretty good though. They just got worse, so I'm putting. I'm st they're still pretty good team to be honest. All of them got worse, but they they used to be gods, you know. Ti ten they were gods, but they got worse. It's fine. It's fine. They're all still pretty good. Entity, um, entity is very good to be honest. Storm Stormer, he is good at farming. He. He's, he has high net worth every game. Toby wins his lane every single game. Kataomi is good at team fighting. Fishman's very good at uh, map movements and playmaking. And then Watson. Watson's just. He's decent. This team is pretty good. Over Aster? I'm not sure. Maybe. I might change this later. But for now, I think they're better. Entity's pretty good. Evil Geniuses, I, before the season started, I thought Evil Geniuses would be the third best team in the world behind Liquid and Baboom. But they're, they're playing way worse. The main reason I thought they would be good is because Pakaz and Whisper were played like gods last season. But both of them are playing way worse now. Like, if they played like last season, they would be, this team would be very good, I think. But they got worse. Beast Coast. Um, Beast Coast is... This is just Dark Mago he is in very good sometimes. Sometimes he feeds. He's very inconsistent, just like Evil Genius's Chris Luck. East Coast is, and then their supports are very good, both of them. And then K1, he's inconsistent too. This team is very inconsistent. I think EG is honestly better than Beast Coast. Beast Coast destroyed EG during the DPC. I watched that, but. Uh, it's because EG is very inconsistent. Both these teams are very inconsistent. I think I think overall EG is better. Maybe Beast Coast. Beast Coast is better than Shopify. Maybe yeah, they're better than Shopify. Okay, yeah, like that. That's good. Okay. Oh, and we're almost done. Okay, TSM. Hmm. Let me think. TSM. So they got White Mon. White Mon's very good. Ari is very good. He dominated last year in Western Div, Div Two, and Div One. He played very good into the breach. That guy is very good at Keeper of Light. Very good at casting his spells on Keeper of Light. This Kasani guy, he's new, right? He's, he dominates on Death Prophet every single game. Wait, Death Prophet is not one of his signature heroes. This guy it always destroys. He's good at Beastmaster too. This guy is Death Prophet. He like 1v5s every game on Death Prophet. So I think TSM got better to be honest. But they're still, they're still pretty trash, obviously. Okay, like that. And then game. Oh, game guys. I forgot about them. All four of them, pl their players are very good, except for Duracho. Duracho, he feeds a lot. He's pretty trash. They had a better carry. They, they could maybe be the best team in the world. Because <laughs> Cel Celery and Quinn are very good, both of them. Those two. And then AT, he, he dominates a lot too. Maybe over here. Better than Aster, I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, I think like this. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like this. Okay. Yeah, that's my tier list. Thank you for watching. So, oh wait. Okay, so final prediction, Liquid vs. Tundra, Liquid 3-1. Yeah, 